Kia ora. I call Kelvin Davis. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, it gives me pleasure to speak on, uh, <coughs> on the Māori side of the estimates. And uh, I have to take uh, issue with Nuk uh, Korako, who just sat down and saying that the National Party has a comprehensive housing uh, set of housing policies. The only thing comprehensive about it is that it's a comprehensive failure because the housing crisis in New Zealand is, uh, is at its worst that it's ever been. It's an absolute shambles and Māori are indeed suffering from it. He raised uh, the issue of the Māori Housing Network, $12.6 million over uh, the next four years. That's $3 million a year. Now, when the budget was announced, I rang up Ricky Houghton and Kai Tyre, and I said to him, Ricky, this very moment, how many people are on the, your waiting list to get a house? And he said, 99, there's 50, 49 families and 50 individuals that right now could do with a house. So even if that $3 million was spent in Kaitaia, it would, on building houses for the families and the individuals who need accommodation up there, it would not meet the need. And that's just in Kaitaia alone, let alone every other town and hamlet across New, New Zealand. So, Mr Chair, the, uh, the Māori Housing Network Fund is just a drop in the bucket. And let me say that I lay the blame not just at the government, but also at the feet of their partners, the Māori Party, who are quite, to be quite frank, they are the uh, Māori caucus of the National Party. They say it's good to be sitting at the table. Well, let me tell you, there's two tables. There's one, there's the big cabinet table that all the cabinet ministers get to sit at, and then outside in the foyer, there's the little coffee table that uh, the minister Flavels had set. And it's the coffee table because that's where the crumbs fall underneath the coffee table. Māori home ownership in 2001 was at about 31.7 per cent. It has now dropped into the 20s. That is unacceptable. There, at that time, there were about 105,000 Māori home owners. That has dropped. The biggest decline has been up in the far north in Whangarei. Uh, the Māori Housing Network, it's, it says it's built over 200 homes in the last year. And look, those 200 homes I'm sure for the people who are living in them are fantastic. They, they, they'll be warm, they'll be dry, they'll be comfortable. But those 200 homes make up less than a quarter of a percent of the total Māori housing stock, and that is unacceptable for Māori dim. And then let, let's look at Māori unemployment. Well, it's over 12 percent, it's more than double the rate of uh, the, whole, the rest of the country. That is unacceptable, and I lay the blame there at the feet of the Minister of Māori Development. There is Māori in prison. There's upwards of, um, well, close to 10,000 people in uh, prison at the, at, at the present moment. Over half of those are Māori. What is this government doing to help or to prevent our Māori people from going into prison in the first place. And they can't say, oh, we're doing all these things and they're really working because the number is going up exponentially. It's going up not just year upon year, it's going up month upon month. Uh, Mr Chair, Māori have been let down severely when it comes to home ownership, to unemployment and to uh, Māori going into prison. But whānau water, and I don't want to steal... Um, Nanaya Mahuta's uh, um, thunder here. But <clears throat> whānau water is a concept that we really hope is going to be successful for Māori. We, we like the concept. There are six goals. Self-managing, that Māori will be self... Uh, sorry, whānau will be self-managing. They'll be living healthy lifestyles. They'll be participating fully in society. They'll be confidently participating in Te Ao Māori. They'll be economically secure and involved in wealth creation. They'll be cohesive, resilient and nurturing. And yet when we look at the, the figures on how well um, whānau water has been achieving over the six years it's been going, um, I, I looked at the two commissioning agencies, and I, admittedly they've been going for 19 months or so, but only, I can only see in the annual report just the results from one of those commissioning agencies. In terms of self-managing, 78 percent or close to four out of five of those whānau were not self-managing. 
Uh, seven out of ten weren't of those whānau that they've been working with weren't living healthy lifestyles. And confidently participating in Te Ao Māori, 96% weren't yet confident in participating in, uh, in Te Ao Māori. And the, the other figures are just as bad. And, OK, it, it'll take time. It'll take time, Mr Speaker, but it could be done better. Speaker.